A mother in Florida says her 12 year old was roughed up, handcuffed, and placed in the back of a police car for nothing. DNC's Dre Clark joins us now by phone with the details. Dre, uh, what happened here? Well, Tashani, uh, good afternoon to you. It's just a, a horrible uh, situation happening in a town called Apopka uh, there in Florida near Orlando. Uh, this all happened on February 20th. Uh, a 12 year old boy is riding to the park. He leaves his grandmother's house. He's riding to the park. And he says, all of a sudden, two pickup trucks pull up on him with their white men inside the trucks. And they, they point to his bike and say, that's our bike. That's the bike. And so he's confused. He's trying to figure out what's going on because this is a bike he had just got for Christmas a few mm. months ago. And the police were called in and they, they questioned this little boy. And then they put him in handcuffs. Mm. And the moment that starts happening, the, you know, on the cell phone video, you can see the community gets really angry. They're yelling at the police officers because they're saying, that's a 12-year-old boy. He's afraid. He's confused. What are you doing? They put him in handcuffs. They put him in the back of the car. And then come to find out, after looking at this young man's bike, this young boy's bike, they realize that it's not stolen. The bike actually belongs to him mm. it's it was his bike his mother made it very clear he got the bike for christmas he had not he didn't steal anything but yet this 12 year old was charged with robbery and two counts of battery because the police said he beat up two white kids and then stole their bike so he's still facing the possibility of being charged uh the 12 year old said that he felt afraid because one of the officers had his hand on his gun. He said he wanted to run away, but he knew not to do that, so he stayed there. Uh, but certainly he is traumatized. Uh, his mother is traumatized. And we had a conversation with her uh, about the incident. And here's just, uh, uh, just a small bit of what she shared with us about her son's arrest. Take a listen. To put him in handcuffs, rough him up. Throw him in the back of the police stop. They took his fingerprints and everything. And I told her when we was there, I said, you taking my baby's fingerprints like he's a criminal. And so you guys never gave my baby a chance to say he was innocent. Yeah, you can see the video again, of people who live in that community, very angry with the police. And because, you know, they said some of the officers were a little heavy handed in how they handled uh, this little boy. You can clearly see that he was afraid and they were not happy at all with how one or two of those officers on the scene handled that young boy. Again, he's still facing the possibility of charges. He was initially charged with two counts of battery and one count of robbery, although his mother did say to us that when they went to find out more about the charges, they were told that the criminal charges were never filed. However, there is a standing civil complaint against him. And so they're now trying to get to the bottom of that. Uh, will that civil complaint also be dropped against him? Because, I mean, he really did nothing wrong at all. He was just riding his bike to the park uh, and unfortunately was blamed for doing something that he simply did not do. Uh, but this is still a standing civil complaint. And so one or two things can happen here. They can either drop the complaint, which they probably should do, considering he's innocent, or um, the family could agree to this in, in, in lieu of criminal charges, and he could maybe be assigned community service or have to go to like a class for four or eight hours. Um, I don't know what the class would be, but as part of that process. But at this point in time, the family says he should not be penalized for anything. And naturally, they're also uh, talking with lawyers to figure out what the next step might be. Um, when you consider looking at the video, and then the bottom line is it was his bike. He was accused of stealing his own bike. And in the process, uh, he felt, you know, very afraid that uh, something bad was going to happen to him yeah. between the white guys in the truck and the police officers rolling up on him. He was traumatized. And you can understand he's so young. He's I, a I'm young, sure, young boy. I'm sure. I, I mean, doing what 12-year-olds do, ride your bike to the park. I, I, I'm right. just, it, you know, it. I, I'm lost for words, the way they do our babies. Uh, Dre, I'm sorry, I wish we had time. We gotta go. Uh, we'll chat with you a little later about this story. Disturbing story.